great pleasure that I'm talking with Daniel Oss. We bumped into each other a couple of times at the start of a bike race, but only mm-hmm. have spoken when speakers are blaring around us. <laughs> and uh, it's nice to get a different nationality in front of the camera and an Italian who can speak good English. So thanks for coming and having a chat with Ride Media. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me. Let's start with the basics. How did you come to cycling? <laughs> you don't have the... Once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> no, as in, uh, um, there's, uh, cycling is wonderful because it takes all shapes and sizes. Mm. But you're uh, certainly more yeah, of a football think, aesthetic. Mm, no, I mean, when I really was really, really young, I mean, two, three years old, yeah. I was a football player. <laughs> it's an easier way to do something. I mean, just a ball and you smash the ball on the wall. It's normal now. Yeah. Everybody's doing this anywhere. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, my family, especially my, my father, wants me to do some sport because it's funny. I, I came from <clears throat> a mountain uh, country. I mean, I'm from Trento and there. Everybody is doing something, especially in the winter time. We have a good spot, skiing spot. Uh, I was a speed skater when I was young, and then I found a small team there. <coughs> when, yeah, we find each other in a, a small place, and just we do a loop of one or two k, and then we just playing with the bike. Actually, it was not nothing more. I was seven years old, and I just start also racing because you know everywhere is there is some race to do close uh, close home so yeah. my family always <clears throat> first remembering is like big bus with a few families with babies and we were there just to race uh, somewhere so I have nice memory in the weekend we went just on the Sunday <clears throat> we start in the morning we stop for have a good lunch and then we have a race and then we come back and it was like this was kind of free time for us and for families it's just the italian way of life really yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly you get paid money and you travel around the world and you hang out with a dude like peter yeah it was yeah it was not so fast so fast and so easy <laughs> in from these kind of weekends and these kind of races yeah. Uh, I spend a lot of time to think about cycling, to, I, I study also, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, I spend a lot of time to believe in it, actually, because then when I was growing, I started to think about maybe it is, is kind of a possibility of my life. And when I was under 23, I started really believing and really understand could be a good chance. So I work on it and I work to find a pro team. And finally I arrived in a world tour with uh, Liquigas at that time. What year was that? Was 2009. 2009. So this is my 11th year as a pro. You're no. a veteran. A <laughs> veteran, <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. I but feel good. Time passes strangely, you know, <laughs> if we look about the period where you're talking, where you've gone from a seven-year-old doing it for fun, to taking it more seriously, in that period of time, cycling had a terrible reputation and probably, now you tell me, but probably more severe in Italy, like the reporting on cycling was filled with negativity. Did this put you off at all? Uh, what I can say, mm, actually I didn't watch cycling no. when I was young. No, no I wasn't uh, my passion no. actually. It was like uh, a different kind of uh, uh, how, how I can spend the time. I mean, I was racing, I have my company friends and then I don't care about pro, pro cycling and stuff. Mm. My grandpa mm, take me sometimes in uh, Monte Bondone or where it was um, uh, to see, yeah, Pantani and all the Giro d'Italia, you know? Mm-hmm. And it was kind of, okay, what is this? <laughs> it was a bit scary and uh, I don't know, I was like, I was confused about, well, what is this? Is really a uh, race about big, I mean, adults race <laughs> or what? <laughs> so, 
I, I didn't also I didn't pass these bad things I know mm -hmm. you know and it's past and I don't care I, I arrive in the, in the cycling with really good cycling I think I really uh, feel good and I really believe in cycling now yeah It helps that you're part of a, a hugely successful team with a charismatic leader. Um, I don't want this interview to be about uh, Daniel Oss talking about Peter Sagan, but I wonder if you could give me a couple of... Yeah, it's difficult to not talk about Peter because he's yeah. part of my career actually. I found him in 2010 because he arrived one year later than me mm -hmm. and we uh, immediately understand that was something really powering him because he really show uh, like this how he can win and how he can believe can be a good champion mm -hmm. so but then after some years in bnc we found again in bora and uh, now i i starting to collect a lot of memories because it was really funny and i love how he's riding how he's get the cycling to the people and how the children and the small baby like him. So that means he is really emotional yeah. and that's a good thing. And between BMC and Bora, what I can say, I, I, um, it's not really big changing because we are speaking about two big team high level. I can say in BMC they were already in the big mood they have already some experience some a lot of not some but a lot of champions there are more than three or five world champions and they have different kind of approach to that here in bora i think is uh is young team as a, as a pro team mm -hmm. you know as a world team and what i feel is like uh, new energy you know uh, kind of uh, new it's a challenge for everybody you know so everybody want to learn want to understand want to push to arrive at the top yeah so for with Peter is also a good uh, it's really I don't want to say easy because it's not never easy but you know with a champions like this is you can see the way and you can just follow now you know He's the sprinter who can climb. He's the he's the world champion who can entertain. He's the yeah. the friend who can become a teammate and, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. It's it's an interesting mm -hmm. proposition. But what about you? You look like a rock star. Do you <laughs> we talked once about uh, about the music. Uh, <laughs> what do you play? Uh, I play <laughs> sometimes. I, I don't want to say I play because I'm not so good, but. When I was young, I started learning a bit of bass guitar, okay. electric bass guitar, and I was impressive because my teacher was like pow, 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 every time, and then it's, I want to do that. Yeah. And then first I bur uh, I burrow, uh, yeah, burrow one bus, and then later I gonna uh, I boat, yeah. and then I start playing. When I was when I am um, when I'm at home, I try to do something because maybe I heard some good song uh -huh. I'm gonna looking for the, the rhythm and yeah. what the note is it and then I try it so yeah. it's like but you know it's like uh, to be a professional bike rider you have to do every day it's can it's all about training I think and motivation yeah. so I love I love the the, the instrument the instrument yeah. I like how, how the rule in a, in a band and I think I can fix like me in a in a in a team, you know, yeah. because I'm not the the guitar and the leader, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of guy without is like sounds bad, you know. Yeah, without yeah. the bass, the song is bad. Yeah. With the bass, sounds really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How important is 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 uh, removing yourself from the pro scene? Do, do you find that you need to do that or are you happy to talk cycling every day? No, I like to, to, to have something else to, yeah. to thinking about. Yeah. I try to read as much as I can, 
some books and I like science, I like uh, business, I like marketing, I like to, to s I don't know, I'm curious. So sometimes I really like the newspaper, I search something, you know, articles to, to know something else. <laughs> and I like people can teach me something different things. So I'm looking for also some, some company to, to think speaking about something else yeah so for me also the for example the bass guitar is kind of um, things just to keep away I spend time in another way mm -hmm. music also when I'm at home and around the world I put my headphone and I just try to listen something good yeah. I like movies yeah. normal things but you know uh, living <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel famous? You know, you're paid to be an entertainer. You're paid to. Mm, no, but I don't feel famous. I mean, I can, I still can do uh, my shopping without any <laughs> big autograph or stopping in the middle of the road like Peter, mm. for example. Yeah. But I can understand we are in. A, I think also in a in a different. Uh, era also for cycling because I don't know but social media makes us not famous but they can recognize you a lot more than before I think mm -hmm. we have so many races around the world and I can understand we are <clears throat> part of something is growing some, something that is growing and I don't feel famous I just mm -hmm. feel part of big machine is moving. You've, you've worked with famous <coughs> people. Do you see a trapping of fame? What do you mean? Or do you see the detriment of fame? I don't know, but I see, <coughs> I can see Peter and I can, <coughs> can tell you is the, um, every, I, I don't remember one place without any autograph. No. <laughs> with him, I mean. So. Ever. Uh, uh, see, yeah. ever. Uh, that's that's cool that's really important for the people that's really uh, I don't know but it's really n nice but you I also put my shoes in mm -hmm. in, uh, in the shoes of Peter and uh, I can understand sometimes people are a lot <laughs> you know <laughs> and if you have thousand people around or if you have maybe every five minutes somebody around to to ask you something mm. at the end could be you can feel fatigue for that <sighs> you know and it's stressful and this make you in, in a position that you have to manage this and it's difficult it is not normal so that's why sometimes maybe it, uh, it's, not, it's not because they change you but you have to change something because you are not the same anymore no. you are famous <laughs> <laughs> It's not a problem, it's not a problem at all, but it's kind of different things to thinking about. Absolutely. Yeah. And I can see Peter, Peter is a really normal person and he really likes the normal things. Yeah. It's not because it's Peter Sagan, he likes it or you don't know what. Mm. It's normal like me, like you and like everybody. Mm. So sometimes it could be stressful, you know. Yeah. My understanding of cycling culture in Italy is that it's strong. But it's ageing, that the youth is not so engaged with cycling, perhaps. Is that true or...? I, I can see the new generation is coming. Okay. I can see that. I can tell you, uh, I don't know if it's because cycling uh, become a fashion thing, uh -huh. but we have a lot of connection now. Yes. Fixi, uh, street art, pop art. Uh, musician a lot of bands like cycling yes. and and also social media uh, the, the world tour is bigger and bigger uh, new cycling with the, this new world connecting everywhere mm. makes people connected more and we have a lot of influence actually mm. so um, uh, yeah we have a lot of people old people <coughs> connect to the old Word, old cycling, but I can see the new generation is growing a lot because I tell you, I can see a lot of young boy, 
uh, also with my age uh, around 30 I can see a lot of people is riding a bike actually yeah. Yeah. so they start now to get in the uh, in the system so okay. how, how we can pull why we do the sprint or why somebody is pulling on the climb and blah 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 yeah. and that's I like it that's motivating me a lot We, we hear a lot about the business of cycling failing. How could you imagine a way to make cycling more profitable? <laughs> That's, I, I think about all the time, it's, it's difficult. I don't know how, because uh, actually, I don't know, the rules now can manage all the cycling, so I don't know how we can Profit, what do you mm -hmm. say? Pro make a profit. Make, make a profit from cycling, but um, <laughs> I don't know. We can close all the roads and pay tickets. <laughs> <laughs> pay tickets. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. Uh, we can speak all the night about that. I don't know. Yeah. It's a long discussion with no end. Yeah, it's a long discussion. Yeah. It's a pity because you know it's it's one of the best part for the people mm -hmm. and that means also for sponsor you can arrive straight to the people and connect mm -hmm. that's that the first things and i think everybody knows and in sporting terms for 2019 do you get a chance for yourself <laughs> because you're basically on the sagan program yeah yeah or do you ever get a chance to, can you maybe pick and label him or something yeah. like this and, and say, excuse me, can I have a go, please? <laughs> yeah, but for that, we don't have problem. I mean, no. no, at all. I mean, if I can see a chance and if I can, if I can see it, I can get it yeah. for sure. Okay. We don't have problem with Peter or with the team and I, I also, uh, still have big ambitions but I'm also realistic and I know my limit and I know also mm, not only the the strongest can win you know the tactics and um, good chance can show up yeah, <laughs> I understand. and yeah. that's only about timing and about for sure legs and for sure uh, big shape yeah. But uh, it's not only uh, the only things. Yeah. I would like to get it. I, uh, I tell you, I have ambitions and I still have it. And But I understand also Peter has a big team. <laughs> if I see Peter, he can win. <laughs> I when I he can, him. he will. And he's yeah. capable, so he does. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between, you know, you... You're an incredible athlete. You do amazing things. You endure heat and you ride long distances and you put up with uh, big personalities and da da da. But what makes the difference between uh, your role with Bora and Peter's? Like, h how could you bridge that gap to become that level? If you compare to Peter, it's a huge human effort, yeah. huge human power for yeah. him from him. Is a, is really is something unbelievable. He's so strong. He's something different. I never see some something different like this. I mean, it's not because I'm riding with him, but I so respectful from for him because he's such in different and ho how also he can ride. You know how he can he can yeah. jump or manage uh, the road and uh, the, the the obstacle. Uh, um, He's the gap is, I think, really a lot. The first step <laughs> is to close the gap for to do two thousand watts or whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then, uh, for sure, now he's grow a lot also with a good mentality of because if you don't win from a long time, you're gonna um, lose something. Yeah. So I still keep ambitions and I just. <laughs> Waiting. Is there anything that uh, you'd like to talk about? I, I really wanted to talk about Daniel Oss, not Peter Sagan, and I'm sorry mm -hmm. that it went here. No, no, but it's okay. 
I would like to talk about Just Right, if you can. Just? Just Right. You know what is Just, just Right? Talk to me. <laughs> Tell me about it. It was like two years ago, after Giro d'Italia. Mm -hmm. I was sitting at the bar with my friend, and I was really, really tired. I was like, okay, basta. I stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see any bike ever. But I was lying, because I love my bike, mm -hmm. and I love riding a bike. I, maybe after this I say, okay, maybe I want to see my bike, but I want to see my bike in another way. I want to do a trip. I want to do a journey with my bike. And then with him, I start thinking about a journey along Ita Italy, around Italy. Mm -hmm. So I, we just plan a trip with a bag on the bike. And I just went from my home to the first step was Adriatico, through Appennini, and then uh, to Tirreno. A big distance, I don't know. Yeah, I did around 100, 200 K a day. Uh -huh. And I uh, was like stopping for lunch, meeting people, you know, just enjoying yeah. right. around me. Just right. Just right. It was yeah. really just right. Last year I did uh, after Roubaix, uh -huh. and they went from Milano from Vigorelli to Rome. Uh -huh. I just went through Lombardia, from Milano to Liguria uh -huh. on the sea. And then I went in Tuscany. I just stopped there also in a gravel road, you know. Uh -huh. And then the, it was a really... And then I go through down to some lakes around Lazio and uh, I arrived in Rome and uh, to the Colosseo. It was really, this was for me something different and something special because I always around vats, around timing, around the same loop, mm -hmm. you know, just to looking for a good shape, looking for a good uh, challenging, mm -hmm. and following only uh, an object is to yeah. win, you know, for somebody else or for me, but it's only about winning, winning, winning. Yeah. Just one, two, A and B. Yeah. In as fast you can <laughs> and that trip for me was really something <clears throat> changing my mentality you know yeah. I just went in another way to the same instrument because yeah. I was in my bike and I I got new new feeling It's a kind of back to the root you know you rediscovered the love yeah yeah and, and interesting concept i love the idea and i think that that's the future of cycling you know like so for me what i the reason i do what i do is i'm much like you i love riding my bike mm. it's a pleasure it's me it's meditation it's mm -hmm. and it's uh, transport and lots of things and if more people could ride the bike it's a better world that's simple it's uh, so simple it's really simple <laughs> no i mean races I, I love races not because i want to quit the race because it's really something part of me i really like to compete with the others and yeah. arrive at the f at the line yeah. i like also technology about bikes and how you can grow mm -hmm. your shape like this but also sometimes you know when it's too much it's too much and you want just to relax a bit and enjoy what you do in another way mm -hmm. and this way complete you know yeah the racing at the end of the seven days you would be more mentally fresh happy content uh, capable just because you're getting air into your brain and you're relaxed mm -hmm. did your body did you feel like you had actually prepared better for racing by doing just right was fixed perfectly actually because I just tried um, without any effort I mean I was fast because I was in shape after the way you can imagine I was okay I, I rest a bit and then I, w I went mm -hmm. but uh, I have to race after one month so I, I can't really go to the sea or enjoy more really relax the, on, on the holidays it was like really fixed on me because I did in a week around 1000k mm -hmm. and was like pace to the new the second part of season yeah so i went just b c d you know yeah. was different yeah. was like kind of a trip yeah. but i was on my bike on my race bike on my race kit okay oh. and i did about around 200 and 100k under 50 climbs flats 
but be, just just because because it's fun yeah and was the, the just the first part of the second season mm. a small part of training to to prepare you know the second mm. part of the season and then i went to california to california to the france and everything else we were three guys with me yeah and they make photos and videos and we share immediately on Instagram yeah, and cool. all the people can can see it and it was nice because it was really upgrade about the the sharing is a really an upgrade to the journey it was nice to to find somebody text you or yeah. where you go or maybe somebody I also I can I can I met on the on the road yeah yeah no it's a lovely idea and I think that's that's why cycling is good is that it yeah. offers so many different things and that's why we're talking about cycling you know you're from Italy and I'm from Sydney and if it wasn't for cycling we would never be speaking yeah it's nice and it's it yes, 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 yes. why not maybe I can come here to just like Well, it's been a pleasure chatting and I will continue to watch your racing with Thank interest you. and um, now I'm just, just going to ride. Okay. Just ride. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.